wonderful event. I'm here to introduce Muriel Mickey Siebert, who is known as Wall Street's first woman of finance. She is the founder and CEO of the brokerage firm that bears her name, Muriel Siebert and Company Incorporated, the first woman to own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange, and the first who had one of its member firms. Throughout her career, Mickey has been actively involved with a wide range of nonprofit, civic, and women's organizations. She is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, the Economic Club of New York, the Committee of 200, the International Women's Forum, and the New York Women's Forum, of which she was a founder and former president. In 1999, she developed a personal finance program that was introduced into the economic curriculum of New York City's public high schools and is now in pilot programs in various school districts across the nation. Mickey is described by the Encyclopedia Britannica as, quote, American business executive whose successful ventures in the realm of high finance helped expand opportunities for women in that field. She is listed as one of 1,000 great American business leaders by Harvard University Business School. A widely respected commentator on financial services and the economy, Mickey's opinion has often been sought out by the media, Congress, and the White House. Although she dislikes being called a pioneer, after more than 40 years on the New York Stock Exchange, this legendary leader continues to find new challenges and successes. So please join me in welcoming Mickey Siebert to the podium. Mickey. this kind of an introduction. And I thank you very, very much. And I appreciate your very gracious introduction. And we had a wonderful time with you last night for dinner. So I said thank you. Yeah, that was nice. I'm in honor. I'm honored to accept such a prestigious award, the ABCs and the John Wayne Cancer Center. You know, I would like to express my special thanks to Gloria Gebbia, president of ABC, because like this, believe me, does not happen by accident. It happens with love and hard work and dedication. And to be able to honor the vital work that the doctors Morton and Giuliano and their teams do every day. You know, they make a difference in people's lives every day. And I wish that they were here to get the same honor because that is the one thing that we all need help when we're at a very desperate time like that. You know, their efforts and their need to achieve without cancer and to kill cancer are truly inspiring. And we all need them to. I'm on another uh, cancer foundation in New York and I know how hard people are working to beat the disease. I'm on the advisory committee of Evelyn Lauder's Breast Cancer Research and I've seen the way these doctors just plug away to try to find the cure. And it will happen. And we just have to be so pleased and so in awe of these people who dedicate their life doing this. 
You know, whether or not, wherever you go, whether it's family or a neighbor, cancer is touching a little bit of everyone in the community. And it touches them at all levels. Because no one has a family member who does not have it, or a good friend who has, does not have it or have not gotten through it. And I have been told by the people in New York that there will be a cure. They feel they're getting closer and closer to it. And so you must be feeling the same way out here. And won't it be good when the two coasts can meet and celebrate together that we found the cure? Uh, I had a dream when I showed up.